This is going to ruin it for a lot of people that love St. Patrick's Day. You think you can ruin my heritage? Oh, it's on. First of all, it has nothing to do with Irish pride. False. It has everything to do with Irish pride, because the modern celebration of St. Patrick's Day really goes back to Irish immigrants in the Americas, who wanted to connect with their Irish heritage. And what better way to do that than celebrate the day that honors the most famous missionary to Ireland, St. Patrick. The St. Patrick was a uh, Roman. His father was a Roman official, and he was tasked, just like the Roman Empire did with cleansing, the, destroying the Gnostic people who originally were the Egyptians and burning the Library of Alexandria. Okay. This is utter nonsense. We have evidence of Gnostic groups existing well into the Middle Ages. The Christians in the Roman Empire didn't wipe them out. Second, the Gnostics were not just Egyptians. That's absurd. Gnostics is an umbrella term we apply to several heretical Christian groups who drew on various traditions, including Egyptian mythology, but also Greek philosophy, Christianity, Judaism, Persian mysticism, and many other prior belief systems. So saying Gnosticism was just the Egyptians shows you don't understand what Gnosticism means or what the religious beliefs were in Egypt in the ancient world. And finally, it's a modern myth that Christians burned the Library of Alexandria. We have no evidence from any pagan, Christian, or Jewish writers that this actually happened. In all likelihood, the library was lost to history due to fires caused by civil wars that happened before Constantine and lack of funding for upkeep. He was tasked with going to Ireland and the, the UK and Scotland area, but we specifically think of it as Ireland, because that was the, the core of this, right. where they went there and they were supposed to eradicate the last group on the planet that was still studying was that ancient old religion were, who were known as the serpents. We both know none of that is true, and you have no credible sources to back those claims up. St. Patrick went to Ireland to be a missionary, not to eradicate Gnostics. We have no evidence any Gnostic groups ever made it to Ireland, let alone that the ancient Celtic polytheistic belief system had anything to do with serpents. The scholar Dia... Dia... The Dia, this guy covers what little we know about the ancient Irish belief system, and he never mentions serpents. So if you look at the story of St. Patrick, he was ridding the serpents, the snakes, right? The snakes from Ireland. But if you look all throughout geologic history of that region, there's never been snakes that lived there. It's a metaphor. Huh. It's a metaphor for the druid people and, and pagans as a more general term. You're partially correct. First, the idea of St. Patrick ridding Ireland of snakes comes from much later documents, nothing from the early sources. And it is a metaphor, but not for eradicating Gnostics, but getting the evil out of Ireland, ending paganism through his missionary work. And they were seen as a threat because they had, though they were the last group that had the ancient knowledge. There is no evidence that backwater pagans on a remote island were a threat to the Christian church or the Roman Empire. Folks, you might as well believe in leprechauns if you believe what this guy is selling. You're celebrating the representation of the genocide and cleansing of the last serpent group on the, on, in, on the planet. Look, pal, you just can't invent fantasies in your imagination and then say anyone who doesn't go along with your delusion is celebrating genocide. You're literally telling us that St. Patrick was sent to Ireland to eradicate Gnostic Egyptians who were worshipping serpents? This sounds like something the author of Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter would write. All this makes me want to do is celebrate St. Patrick's Day even harder now.